Hi, my name is Charles Perrin with JTEC, and I'm going to talk about power flow through a transmission. Um, so these are uh, semi transmissions, class A transmissions. Uh, this is a uh, this is on the uh, like an Eaton Fuller transmission, something like that. Uh, we're going to talk about the power flow through the different gears and how they work, and talk about how the auxiliary works. So um, if you are if you are familiar with a automotive transmission, this is a completely new thing to you. Uh, but we'll talk about that. So when it comes to power flow, we've got our engine, ignore this stuff. We've got in from our engine, turns our input shaft right here. So their input shaft turns our input gear, which rotates our counter shafts. All these count, all these gears are turning all the time to include this idler gear. This is a uh, this blue piece right here is an idler on top of the uh, top of the counter shaft, which what that does is that just ro allows the uh, the reverse gear to rotate the other direction. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. So if you look, unlike an automotive transmission, this actually has two counter shafts. Okay, two counter shafts, and all that really does is it breaks the load up for uh, on the two counter shafts. So it's not all the pressure isn't on one. It breaks it up to two and it allows for less slipping. All right, so now I go all that way. So power comes in. For first gear, right, on your stick shift, we will shift into first gear, which means we take this sliding collector collar, whatever we want to call it, we slide into this gear back here. It slides it in, that takes this turning power from right here that goes down these counter shafts and it stops the power right here. It's the power inputs right here. So it comes in, we slide the clutch in, input, and it turns out. And so this is in high gear. So this, our auxiliary is in high gear. We'll talk about auxiliary in a little bit. The auxiliary pulls it into high, we'll put it in high gear so that it goes right up the shaft. So our input in, first gear, input out. Okay, so if we want to shift gear, so let's say we want to shift it to second, which is this gear right here is our second gear. We will take the collar, put it in a neutral, which means this sliding car will, will come out and this sliding car will go in to second gear. And now the transfers from there to here and goes out. We're still in high gear. All right. And that goes down throughout the line. Um, third, fourth, fifth, or if you have an overdrive, it'll be fourth fifth and all it is is it over rotates so now let's talk about this auxiliary so you got our input comes in goes out to the counter shafts and in the first gear it comes into the auxiliary now if you're in high gear like I said before it's just like direct drive up here and all direct drive is is it comes in we, we engaged we would take this collar, we engage it up here, and the power goes straight through the main shaft, which is what turning right here is the main shaft. That's direct drive. Same thing happens in the auxiliary. So we got our first gear, comes in. We got it in high. It's just direct drive, goes right out. Now, if we put it into low, which we take this sliding collar and slip, shove it into this back gear, our power now goes, because these counter shafts are just like the main box, come out, come down, and go through out the back. So this on a semi, this is first gear on a semi. Comes through the input shaft, down the counter shafts, into the main shaft, first gear of the main shaft, comes down into the auxiliary, auxiliary input gear, goes into the counter shaft, goes into the, uh, the low gear and out, and that is one flow on transmission. Um, everything else pretty explanatory. Um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Thank you very much.